Member Vancouver West End. Thank you, Your Honourable Speaker. Over and over, one must ask oneself the question, what do I want to express? What is the thought behind the saying? What is my ideal? What my objective? What? Why? Why? What? So asked Emily Carr, and indeed so did I, when preparing today's statement on Creative Industries Week and my love of the arts. What? Why? Why? What? For art is hard to speak about, and sometimes when you do, you can cut off its life and try to jam it into a little box to explain it. A little box of statistics sometimes. But then I hear the economists scream passionately, those boxes matter, statistics matter. I hear my friends in the film, book publishing, music, digital entertainment fields, and indeed the jobs minister agree. Look at the jobs. They're right. Over 100,000 British Columbians work in our creative industries, generating over $5.23 billion for BC's economy. I worked in theatre, dance and film before joining this place, and I grew up in a family of artists. And I must tell you, those jobs mattered very much for my parents and my brother and I as they put the food on the table. But then I too hear the artist scream or sing or dance or paint or write or film or animate. It's about dreams. It's about living a better life. It's about understanding. It's about living in the question. Art is about who we are. It's about community. And they too are right. As a longtime advocate for the arts and creative economy, I've made peace with both sides. You can't do one with the other. Art and creativity can't be put in place unless you have food and unless you have housing as well, unless you have life to live. I'm thankful I live in a province, Honourable Speaker, with a government and most importantly a people that celebrates arts and the creative industries. I'm thankful the BC Arts Council was created and now has more money to invest in BC's artists. I'm thankful Cre Creative BC was founded and now can work with more money to invest in those creative industries so they too can grow and continue to blossom in every one of our communities. But most of all, Honourable Speaker, I am thankful for the artists, for the dreamers, for the bold. Happy Creative Industries Week.